Welcome to using resource bundles in Java for internationalization. In the global marketplace, your software should always be able to run in most any language. Where in the world a program is run is called the locale. The resource bundle is a file of strings used in your code and you provide a bundle for every locale your program will run in. A resource bundle is a special case of a properties file. It can have any file name, but the convention is to call it messages bundle. The extension is not configurable, so it must use dot properties. It can only be plain text and not XML. The bundles for different languages are differentiated by adding a suffix to the bundle's file name. So a bundle for Germany might be messages bundle underscore DE. In a country where there are more than one national language, such as Canada, the bundle name suffix is in two parts, as in messages bundle underscore EN underscore CA and messages bundle underscore FR underscore CA. There should always be a bundle without a suffix for situations where there is not a bundle for the locale of the user. This becomes the default or none of the above bundle. The organization of a bundle file follows exactly the same rules as a properties file. There is a key and a value. The six special characters equal, colon, space, tab, exclamation mark, and pound symbol can be used in the key or value if properly escaped. In this illustration, the properties in red are demonstrating the use of the special characters. The property in blue shows how a value can run for more than one line by ending a line with the backslash. All white space at the front of subsequent lines will be trimmed away. You can explicitly retrieve the default locale by using the locale classes static method getDefault. If you plan to use locales other than the default, you will need to either instantiate a locale object or use one of the pre-built objects. To use a resource bundle in your code, you need to instantiate a resource bundle object with its static getBundle method, passing it the file name of the bundle. The object will be instantiated with the locale of the user's JVM. You may add a second parameter to indicate a specific locale. This can be useful if you wish to allow your users to switch languages in a running program. Load two bundles, and you can switch between them. I leave it to you to discover how to do this, as, if you are a student of mine, you must be writing programs that can switch between English and French. When it's time to use the bundle, wherever a string is required, you use the getString method of the bundle object and pass the name of the property as a string. If the property cannot be found, an exception will be thrown. This makes it important that you test that every named property in your code exists in a bundle. The red lines use keys that contain special characters. They do not have to be escaped when used in getString. One last point about resource bundles. These files must be placed in the resources folder of your Maven project. They will then find their way into the root of the jar and can be easily located. Thank you for listening to this screencast, and you can find sample code for this at the URL shown here. Thanks for listening. I'm Ken Fogel, and I hope you'll watch another screencast soon.